guys and welcome back to new tutorial this is ketul patel and today we are going to see network security model what is a network security model let's start the tutorial to the summer of love. so what is a network security model to provide uh, any secure uh, provide a security to a network then it can be any of the network it can be your home network it can be your office network it can be a corporate network it can be a public network a private network but to provide a security to the network you need a set of model first develop to provide a security mechanism to that network so uh, what are the steps included in uh, network security model is the first is transformation transformation basically includes how your message or data will transfer from a sender a to a receiver b you need a transformation medium any kind of medium so here this is a medium channel for transferring a message or a data from sender a to b then comes algorithm so now uh, you are sending a message uh, from a sender a to receiver b from a medium uh, a secure medium let's say now it's a, it's just a medium for now but your message your message which is transferring from a to b this is message it need to be secured and how you can secure the message is by encryption algorithm so what basically encryption algorithm do is it transfer transform your message from a human readable format to non readable format so like if your message from a to b is hello after applying encryption algorithm to your message it can become like like this or it can be transformed to any of the form which is not readable by a human like you can understand what is this but you can't understand what is this so this is encryption uh, this is the algorithm part which encrypt your message to a non readable format to make your message sec uh, secure there are many of the encryption algorithms available there uh, caesar cipher algorithm hill cipher algorithm then playfair algorithm you can find my videos on that algorithms uh, then this was algorithms now that should be a key that can be public or private key now if you are encrypting any of the message using any algorithm you need a key you need a key to encrypt it and you need a key to decrypt it like i have key equal to 1 and my message is hello now what i will do is i will add key 1 to this message and transform this message to encryption algorithm using a key so uh, first let's find the value of h so h 
is 7 you can find from alphabet a is 0 b is 1 up to z 25 e is 4 l is 11 again l is 11 and o is 14 now what i will do is 14 plus 1 15 11 plus 1 12 again 12 4 plus 1 5 and 7 plus 1 is 8 now what 8 stands for is i what 5 stands for is f what 12 stands for is m again m and what 15 stand for is p so this is how your uh, message is encrypted using a key that is one so now there are uh, two type of key one is public key and one is private key so public key is shared by both sender as well as receiver here a and b both and private key is not shared it is not shared directly but it is shared indirectly so uh, public key is shared by both a and b to each other but private key is shared uh, indirectly with both of sender and receiver by some short of algorithm like uh, you can say hash functions you can say digital signatures there are many of the ways to share public key uh, not digital signature and uh, hash functions are not exactly for sharing that key but somewhat related so it is not exactly for sharing uh, digital signature or a hash function is not exactly sharing for keys now the fourth is how to get the key so in a security network or network security model there is a third party distributor third party key distributor which provides key to both A and B so here uh, the third party provides the key for encrypting your message to A as well as to B they will provide public key as well as private key to you now let's draw a diagram and uh, understand how uh, network security models work so here I have sender A now A is sending a message to B but for first he is uh, generating a message hello now this message pass through an encryption algorithm and it is secure securing it your, your information so this is your sender part now your message will travel to a medium it might be LAN might be a WAN network it is a wireless network or it can be a wired LAN network backend it is working on a LAN network and here at receiver side again using that algorithm your message is decrypted and B 
receive your original message. So this is receiver side and here is a third party key distributor. So this party distribute key to sender as well as receiver for decrypting the message as well as for encrypting the message. So this is how a sender is sending a message hello to receiver B using a secure medium. Here the encryption algorithm will work, the key will be added now this encrypted message will be passing through a medium and uh, receiver side again that message will be decrypted using the key the encryption algorithm the decryption algorithm will work now and the receiver will receive the message original message which was sent by sender a now here a taker attacks here he attacks on the medium where your message is sending. He can find your message from the traveling medium and he takes that message and do whatever he wants. So here attackers attack your message. This is the third party, this is sender and this is receiver. So this was how a network security model works. So if you like the video if you feel that this video is helpful to you press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more tutorials if you are having any doubt in this uh, portion or you are not understanding any of the portion you can comment down below i will be getting back to you soon thank you for watching